welcome to another melting a basket video we are gonna just jump right on into my empties i have a very busy day ahead of me i do want to let you guys know before i get started that today is the last day of my shop wide black friday slash cyber monday weekend sale you can use the code bf2022 to save 35 percent off shop wide this is the absolute last chance you have to save shop wide for the rest of the year so definitely go take advantage of that and i do want to thank any of you who have supported my shop thus far during the sale i love you you are amazing and i'm gonna work my hardest to get your order out to you as fast as possible four empties first we have a couple of scent shot cups from fantasy wax which i do have a code with fantasy wax that is going to be hannah 10 for 10 percent off I melted pretzel, which is one of my god tier scents. This is like just hands down one of the best pretzel scents ever. I just love it. So if you like pretzel, definitely check it out. And then I did Miracle on 34th Street. I did this in the bathroom. It was fine. I don't really have much to say about it. It was bay leaf, fresh pine, red hot cinnamon. It was like a medium throw. Leatherface from that Smell Good Shop, which is a zucchini bread, caramel, vanilla, and cookie. I just put that in so I don't have much to say about it. We have Black Magic Melts Strawberry Zucchini Bread. This is very, very good. Would get it again. We have Down Home Muffins from That Smell Good Shop. This was okay. This is, I feel like, more of a blender and I melted it by itself. I don't think I would get that again. From Rose Girls, we have Salted Caramel Latte Cookie Land. This was fantastic. Loved it super duper duper strong. Would definitely get that again. We had Abel's Mint Cookies from Sassy Girl Aroma. This was sugary cookies with a creamy peppermint and chocolate, or peppermint and vanilla and a buttersweet chocolate. This was fine. I think I liked the York Mint one a bit better, so I don't think I would get that again. I had this custom from Sassy Girl Aroma, which was gingerbread, zucchini breading, cream cheese frosting. This was pretty good, and I was talking to my friend Madison, and we both feel like every single melt from Sassy Wax Melt has this undernote of fried dough which works with that blend so it was fine but just something to note we had chocolate covered banana from black magic melts this was fine not my favorite banana scent probably would not get that again we had misfit toys from l3 which is candy cane frosted marshmallow cotton candy frosting and kettle corn the kettle corn was kind of weird with the mint so i don't think i would get that again i threw this into the bathroom because i ran out of bathroom scents and it was mrs claus's Christmas Eve, which was Mrs. Claus Cookies, Ribbon Candy, and Cinnamon Spice Vanilla from Midnight Daydream Wax Cone. It's not like nothing. We had Winter Cabin from Black Magic Melt, which was a musky scent with the feeling of winter and woods. This one did not perform very well for me. We had a loaf of At the North Pole from Sassy Girl Aroma I finally finished, which was sweet peppermint sticks with creamy rich vanilla. This was amazing. I would get an entire another loaf of that. That is so good. From the pharmacist's daughter, we had strawberry cinnamon rolls, sweet strawberry, strawberry jam cinnamon rolls, and buttercream frosting. I mentioned not being sure how I felt about strawberry and cinnamon roll. Can confirm. It's disgusting. We had sugar cookie from Black Magic Melts. As I always say, smells like frosted flakes. I did enjoy it. And finally, I had red, white, and blue cake from L3, which is blueberries with fresh picked strawberries, whipped cream, and white cake. This smelled like absolutely nothing to me. So there's that. I'm gonna grab a drink and we'll get into this week's basket. With how big last week's basket was, I don't have a ton of rollover, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Um, I had pulled this in as an extra bathroom scent, which was Sweet Orange and Evergreen from Scentsy. So we are continuing to work on her. And my other rollovers, I think just these three, we have about, how much is this? Like, I don't know, like, a third of baby bath left from sassy girl aroma a little bit of fire mario left and i didn't get a chance to melt any of espresso dunk my donut cup of cake and vanilla bean noel oh and i'm still working on this giant massive thing of hannah's baby from birdies just be expecting to see this in my basket for like the next month to two months because i only melt that in my bedroom in my office because it's too good to waste anywhere else in the house so it's gonna take me some time we got four bars here from black magic melt we have two from my collab we have chris which is peppermint swirl and birthday cake which is a nice mint scent we have sis which is orange coffee bean orange chiffon cake and sugar cookie it's super strong coffee 
Then we have Joyce and Hopper, which is buttermilk waffles. It definitely has a syrupy scent to it. And then we have cinnamon sugar pretzel, which is self-explanatory. I pulled a bunch of scent shot cups. We'll get to those at the bottom. We have from Westbury Candle Co. Red Rum. This is like a cinnamon scent. We have this Snap Bar from Sassy Girl Aroma in Sleigh Ride, which is cinnamon, sweet maple toffee, salted caramel, fresh nutmeg, maple syrup, and vanilla. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know what from this I'm smelling. Maybe the nutmeg is what's the strongest. Um, my friend Madison gifted some of her custom from L3 to me and it is Blackberry Bling Zucchini or Blackberry Bling, Bling Pretzel and Cookie Therapy. Super nice fruity bakery. I'm actually really excited to melt that. This was de-stashed to me by Andrea. We have gingerbread, Santa's on keto, and salted caramel corn. It's really nice. Before I was mostly smelling the kettle corn, but now I'm mainly smelling gingerbread. I'm looking forward to that a lot. Also from L3, we have Hostess orange cupcakes and pound cake. Love it. Continuing with L3, we have jelly donuts, strawberry jam, and zucchini bread. Both of these are buns very fruity bakery and then we have sea salt caramel pretzels zucchini bread and pink frosted animal cookies i'm mainly just getting the um zucchini bread in this one and like a hint of sweetness but i'm sure that will be super nice from vcs we have pleasantville which is french toast filled with blueberries and cream and a hint of lemon pancakes and bakery notes just smells like blueberry to me this will be going in chris's office not like blueberry. We have this shakes bag from Sassy Wax Melts and Chewy Pretzel Salted Caramel and she did change her label so that they don't like wear off. Super strong pretzel. This does not have the undertone of the fried dough like most of her other things. So I'm excited to give it a go. And then I have so many scent shot cups from um, Fantasy Wax. Fantasy Wax Heavy Me. Honestly, a lot of these I accidentally cracked the lids on, which is why we're melting them, just so that um, they don't lose any more of the scent. But if they do have any scent loss, that is five bazillion percent on me for just throwing them in here like an actual mad woman. Some of these will be going in the bathroom some of them will not i'm trying to figure out so i have two days in there and then i need how many days are in the week seven no, yeah five more days ten more okay so three of these need to be for the bathroom yeah okay that works out these are going to be my three fantasy wax for the bathroom this week. I'll cut these into fours and each will have two days in the bathroom. We have got Santa I Know Him, which is balsam warm vanilla sugar cookies. Super sweet Christmassy tre Christmas tree scent. Love Christmas tree in the bathroom. That's really yummy. We have the Grinch, which is cinnamon bark, pine needles, and thyme. The thyme gives it a more earthy note. That'll be nice. And then also for the bathroom, we have Mr. Narwhal, which is orange, cranberry, clove, and evergreen. Very evergreen forward. We're going to have a very holly jolly bathroom. And the other six scent shot cups we have are, we have Charlotte, which is almond macaroon. Chris actually really liked this one when we were pulling the basket. He thought it smelled like fruit, which makes sense because the almond is slightly cherry, but that's really good. We have Jovi, which is holly berries very christmas forward we have tiana which is fresh beignet and powdered sugar mm, that's so sweet and light and not like light as in like it doesn't smell it's like light as in like air i don't know it's just it smells like a beignet this one i really smushed this one is whoville which is ginger nutmeg vanilla and cocoa super nice we have got Avery's favorite, which is chocolate covered cherries. Very cherry forward with that hint of chocolate. Super yummy. And finally, we have got Martha Mayhew, which is spiced cranberry. 
super yummy spicy cranberry scent. I do think I'm planning on using Jovi and Martha Mayhu. And like in my living room area, I have four warmers cutting each of these in half and putting like them spread out. I think those two would smell so beautifully paired together. That's everything guys. That's my entire melting basket. I'm gonna pop everything. I don't have to chop. There's gonna be lots of scent chocolate chopping this week. And yeah, that is all I have for you. If you did like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then uh, give it a thumbs down. Because either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.